Hi, my little punky. My little punkies. Hold on, let me turn this fan on so I can stay calm in this bitch. Hold on. Ah, oh, hi, what the hell's happening, y'all? We're gonna get in here and play around in some Lost Creek today. Yay! Hey, what's up, Primal? Beyond Drufus? Moin, Mr. Domez. Silver Fox? Cybris? Oh, Harry. Stop it, Harry. <laughs> hey, thanks, Trevor. I love this new zoo too. I love, I would love posting about Reddit on it too, but that, uh, that's not happening. <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. We've started a new little zoo if you've not seen the video. Yeah, thanks, Silver Fox. I did do a little bit of, as a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do with this too. I really want to stay on top of Lost Creek speed builds. So you guys have to keep me going on this once these streams are over to make sure I snag them from YouTube and, uh, and get the speed build part rendered. Try to hold me accountable on that. Hey, what's up, Dagmar? Man, that, um, the, honestly, the Planet Zoo subreddit is trash. Absolute trash. I won't say the subreddit is trash because there's a lot of good, there's a lot of good, uh, a lot of good things going on there. The mods are trash. It is a, it's a poorly run subreddit. Um, well, yeah, and, you know, it's funny because I just, I want, like, the, the Lost Creek video just got removed. They totally removed it and said that I was over 10% of my, like, quote-unquote self-promotion. And the, the post had been removed. Like, fucking seriously. Removed it. Totally deleted it. And, I, I, like, if you scroll down through there right now, it's nothing but self-promotion. Like, I scrolled for four minutes before I saw something that was like talking about what the next DLC is going to be as usual. Um, but they, this spy, whoever the spy tech mod is removed my video. And then, so I, I tweeted about it just a few minutes ago and um, you wouldn't believe like six people, all content creators uh, D Drew and uh, Nicholas Lionrider messaged me like immediately and they're like yeah dude like that's old news they they banned our stuff a long time ago so essentially what's just been brought to my attention is the Planet Zoo Reddit is run by complete assholes like trash moderators like that is what you go to the Planet Zoo Reddit for um you don't go there like it's like that. That's what that's what causes the interaction is you posting videos and pictures and people talk about what like that's what I told. I, I just tweeted out to Planet Zoo's Twitter. I'm like, I don't go there to talk about the circumference of animals assholes. I go there to see what people have posted, what people are working on, what their new projects are. If there's a new fucking planet zoo series started like this morning and these bunch of ass clowns totally deleted the video so fuck the planet zoo reddit fuck any of you planet zoo mods that might be out there listening to this i'll never post on the fucking thing again they can kiss my whole entire ass and fuck anybody that disagrees with that 
So, I guess that's all I have to say about it. I'll never post on the motherfucking thing again. I hope, I wish Frontier knew some of the mods or, uh, you know, had some sway with it. Um, I wish they could tell them, hey, ease up, guys. That's what these people are here to do. They're interacting with our fucking game and wanting to post videos. And you all are deleting their fucking videos. So they can kiss my ass. I'll never post another thing over there. I don't care if I'm 80 years old rubbing shit in my hair and don't know any better. I won't post another thing on that Reddit. So. Anyways. Uh, rant over. <laughs> yes. I know I'm supposed to be calm this week. I've been doing good. Hold on, we can get some calm music going. <laughs> Just unfucking believable, man. Totally uncalled for. Absolutely uncalled for. Delete a fucking video when that's all it is. Like, that's all the subreddit is. So, whatever. All right. So, forget that. Let's, um, let's get back into our calm. I was doing so damn good this week. I wasn't even using exclamation points in Drew's streams. But I just wanted to, sorry about the language, I just, uh, I just wanted to get my point across that Reddit is trash. So, you won't find me on it anymore. What's up, Dominica? I got a cool idea that I got from Zoo Nashville on a little photo spot right around this corner. Actually, may may do it right here. Yeah, Drew, stuff like, you know, I'm trying not to let stuff fire me up much anymore. You know, kind of like water off a duck's back. But, um, man, that rubbed me the wrong way this morning. I mean, I was hot. Yeah, Leaf, Leaf gets it. Hey, what's up, Andal? Check out this little idea I had. It's so cute. Um, let me, you know what? I might be able to steal. Oh, what do you guys think of the little guest services building? Look at Jonas, um, created me a, like a more rustic Lost Creek sign. Doesn't that look good up there? Kind of like this is where you, you know, come and get info on the park and, you know, maps and stuff. You know what, Iconic Leo? I would probably, um, I would probably, have you tried Pinterest lately? A lot of people sleep on Pinterest. Hey, thanks, Trevor. Silver Fox. Yeah, he did do an awesome job. Look, he did, um, you guys may have caught, if you didn't catch the video yet, look, he did me a ticket board, too. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Cybris. Simply Savannah Banana. Would you guys come spend your spring break at the zoo? 
<laughs> I've got some cool ones of these too, like this one I found. It's like um, join the herd. I've got to. I've got to. Um, I've got to get better at uh, labeling these. But this one, it's if if I can uh, if I make it a little bigger. This one's pretty cool. Only two visits pay for your membership. Um, let me show you this one. This one's not going to stay here, but I thought that was cool. This is for Lincoln Zoo, but, you know, I would hide that. Join the herd. Got a little bit of mist going up uh, up there. Hey, what's up, Totter? Seth! <laughs> I want to get shit-faced at the creek. My little anteaters. Where have my otters gone? Oh, they died, maybe. I forgot I left this running from this morning. Damn it. Sorry, otters. We'll get some otters back in there. What's up, Lavro? <laughs> Not as good as the rant. <sighs> I feel a little better now. Kind of got that off my chest. I told Drew, I said, uh, Drew, we need to do a video real quick. And Drew's like, man, I'm just not feeling too well. And I'm like, screw it. We'll do it live. Check this out. This, as far as like a little photo spot goes, I saw this at the uh, at um, the Nashville Zoo. Watch what I'm gonna do with this. Well, we'll close that off in a minute. This was such a, a cute little cool idea. They took like the rhino head and they make it look like it's like it busted out of the wall. And then people can take pictures in front of it. Won't that be a cool little photo spot coming down through here? Sure. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace, otters. Damn it. Get some good billboard action up on that, too. Now, thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out today, though. I just kind of... I've got a few hours here um, with nothing going on. I got my yard mowed this morning and got a bunch of leaves up that were <laughs> still there from last year. And... Um, Got a bunch of that stuff picked up. So, I should be good to go. Yard looks good. It's good, it's good. I want to take my time with this zoo, too. Um, 
not like get way out ahead of ourselves, you know? Like try to rush too much. And plus now we have all like the, the billboard ideas we can play off of. Yeah, Drew, now all my little, my little chores are done. But one thing I want to do too in this, like, um, like Drew's been doing lately, I want some different terrain elevations in this. That will be a little different than, uh, than kind of what Pine Creek had, where it was all like mainly on that main level. I want this to you know, have some valleys and some dips and hills. So, yeah, we're going to get some of that going too. Hey, what's up, Bold? Bold, check this out. This is our new little rhino crashing through the wall photo spot. Yeah, Drew, that's what I was telling them this morning on the video. I was taking this idea from Drew. Like, as far as the different little um, concrete pieces go, I was thinking, like, um, if they had to bust this up at some point and maybe get down to the plumbing that goes to the fountain, that that is a little bit of the concrete difference. Like, you know, this was poured, uh, you know, more recently. So yeah, that's what I was, that's what I'm kind of thinking about when we're thinking about adding these little realism type ideas. Look, Jonas made me some custom Lost Creek Zoo information boards too. Isn't that cool? They've got the little Lost Creek logo. And then I've got the little planter going here. I'm really, I'm really proud of this little planter. I don't usually do those, but they look good and realistic. You gotta have some little path planters like spread out here and there, you know? Bum, 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 bum. Watch one of the, the Reddit mods come on here and be like, uh, sir, you can completely kiss my ass. Oh no, um, Harry, that is, um, this is just like a blank one and I have just made, like I made it. What you do is you make it like the actual anteater educational point and then on the, and I just overrid the texture with, um, with my, with, uh, what Jonas had, had made me. So it's cool. It's still, it's still accurate to the guess, but our version just, I've got the actual Lost Creek Zoo version. So that was cool. This one is probably my favorite logo that he's done for me so far. Oops, I gotta bring that back a little bit. That little bit of orange is showing. I just thought that looks perfect for the guest center. Wilderness awaits. He's got he was gonna make me another one too. It says adventure awaits. So he is really having a fun time with uh with the sign, with the signage, I'd ban them right away. Yes, get out of here. Um, I'm absolutely not discriminating against uh, blueprints on this zoo either. Like, yeah, if, if I find a cool blueprint out there, you know, I've been I've been snatching some of them up. So we're not like we're not on a like a oh, this is only my 
you know, my stuff type of type of vibe this time, you know. I got to dress this wall up. I feel that I feel this wall would be good, like be would be a good um would be a good like themed billboard spot. Adventure awaits is what the kids say. Yes. That would one day it'll be cool to come back right here and um, and do a zoo map like a one of the big like billboards and do a zoo map. Let me just search real quick. See if I can just find something. Find something cool here. Let's just see. Hmm. There's a pretty cool one that says, Welcome to the Zoo. I'll bring a couple of these in and let you guys see what you think. See if. Oh, this one's cool. It's supposed to be like a rug, but it says it's basically a zoo in here. <laughs> that seems like a that seems like a bold kind of saying. Like a bold would have that. It's basically a zoo in here. Let's just see if I see a good one that kind of. This one's kind of cool. Help us stay in great shape. Do not feed the animals. Hmm. Pretty stinking cool. I like that one. Let me just... The only thing is you'll find with some of these, like your custom zoo signs, you typically end up having to make them darker. Um, I'm not just, it's like when they, they come across on the, uh, they come across on the, like when you actually put them in the game as almost really, really light. So what I usually do is I'll put them in my little program here and open, open it and just kind of really darken it. Let's see, or at least, you know, take down the exposure a good bit. And then they come in fine, but if you just... Okay. Bear with me one momento. Okay, this should be dark enough, I'm thinking. Let's try this, see if this looks okay. Mm. That's just kind of too big. Might have to do it on a TV. And then we'll frame it up.
So we've got that one. The Welcome to the Zoo, which I think looks pretty cool. I'll probably hide this part and get it all framed up. So we've got that one. Welcome to the zoo. Kind of right here at, you know, like the the second, like, you know, you've got the entrance area here, but kind of up here is where things really kind of start happening. Or I have, whoops. This one we could theme up. Help us stay in great shape. Do not feed the animals. So let's just try to theme this up real quick and then we can kind of switch in and out of what we think looks okay. Yeah, no? Everyone's in z new zoo mode right now, dude. Yeah, I was like I said, I like I said in the video, I was just kind of sitting there. Um, when was it? Like Wednesday or something? Hanging out with you all, and um, Jonas is like, "Do you want to um, come look at my zoo at the end of the stream? At the end of your stream?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'll come by and check it out." And like that's all it took. I'm like, "Yep, we're starting a zoo." These just kind of look better if you kind of hide the TV, you know? I think so, at least. And this can be, you know, easily kind of like interchanged, you know, with different events and stuff going on throughout the year. I want to try to do like Drew does sometimes and like when different holidays or different seasons get here, um, try to like change the zoo up a little bit and theme it to, you know, like a fall festival or Halloween, stuff like that. That's always cool. It's just tough though when these zoos get like these zoos get so large and then it's it's just so daunting. Can be a little tough. I can't confirm I have not started a new zoo, but will gladly help you all with voiceover work. I've been called the Canadian David Attenborough. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yep, your voice is easily recognizable. Like I knew, like as soon as I went into... Terra Nova this morning. I'm like, you just, yep, Silver Fox. Just smooth, smooth talking voice. Um, where are my little boxes I'm looking for? I don't know why I do not have those say, have the, oh, I do have it saved as a favorite. Derp.
I don't necessarily have any ideas for a... I kind of have a little idea for a waterfall. It's actually like taking Bold's waterfall from um, Suyana and um, bringing it... Uh, it's a small one. It's like a very thin... Uh, very, very thin waterfall. And I kind of have an idea for that. I think I think this part this part could could budget like that type of uh, that type of small little waterfall. If I can get in that zoo and take it correctly. Hey, what's up, blank sky? The silver tongue fox. Oh, yeah, Cyrus, I forgot. They are talking about um, custom audio they're working on, aren't they? I forgot about that, too. That's going to be cool. Silver Fox, we could, like, if I do, like, a Jeep, like, a 4x4 ride, I could have your voice whenever they give us that. Your voice could be the, uh, could be the ride. <laughs> we'll have to get you, like, a little script and stuff. <laughs> hey, what's up, Poison Blade? Yeah, yeah, Harry, we we have to uh we got to work a got to work a uh a waterfall in there somehow. Yeah, I think that would be a cool cool picture spot. And I want to do like Mike Sheets says too, and always keep shading in mind um, and not have like try not to have as little like just bear out, burn people in the sun open as possible. So definitely want to think of Lost Creek as like a, a relaxing, shaded, um, you know, themed type of layout as far as the trees and stuff go. Definitely see using... I, I just adore these uh, these Brazilian nut trees just because of that exposed bark. You know what I was thinking would be a cool little like um, implied exhibit right here. What's that? They're really cool cranes, but they've got like the little red spot, I think, on the back of their head. They're called red something cranes, but I can't, I can't remember right off the top of my head, but they're a really, really cool crane. So, I think maybe we can do that. Red crowned cranes. That's it. Red crowned cranes. Those guys are cool. And sometimes I've actually even just been mixing real habitat walls. Like with the, like with the implied exhibits. And they, they work out pretty cool too. Let's get this as close as to the path as I can. And then of course we'll lower it. Yeah, and as far as like the zoo, as far as like my real in life experience, Zoo Knoxville, as far as the cranes go, um, you know, it's not a huge, huge, like they just have a little section. There's some, like usually some little ducks are in there with them. It's not like a, you know, massive, massive enclosure. Ch 
Show down there. Hey, speaking of Jonas, check this out, Jonas. I used your Wilderness Awaits rustic sign at the top of guest services. Isn't that cool? Hey, what's up, Jake? There's a mod that makes exhibits cageless. That's cool. I don't know much French, uh, Blanky. I know, um, like Merci. That's thank you, right? That's about my extent. Or, you know, je ne sais quoi. If I have de -de -de -de. Ba -de -ba -ba -ba. how much Hindi do I know? Um, not much. Uh, is is Namaste? Namaste? Is that high? That's about that's about my that's about my extent. <laughs> I'll do you one better. How much Gaelic do you know? <laughs> hey, what's up, Lee? Bonjour. For some strange reason, my orange Utans won't climb, and I built such a nice climbing frame for them. Ah. I'm gonna have to get some cool climbing frames going myself, eventually. Remember guys, if you're just tuning in, this is just a little, um, like, almost like, uh, think of it as an implied crane habitat. We'll leave the door off for now. Oh, I want to start a bear cat habitat too. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to make that happen. Those guys look cool. Especially now that like I know they hang upside down. Like I thought that was awesome. Like they just sit there and hang by their little, by their little tails. It's always fun to throw in some uh, some implied exhibits, you know. 
don't always have to like have every corner packed with you know the actual animals Yeah, bold. Uh, they we saw them on the we saw them on the frontier live stream. They were hanging by their tail. I haven't seen it. I haven't placed them in game yet, so I haven't seen it. But they were definitely showing that off to us. That was awesome. I swear, I think it was Bold that showed me this trick right here, like with these, uh, with these like ponytail palms. And I will never not not do this again. <laughs> this is awesome. Hey, thank you, Glitter Pants. I've had a lot of people message me since yesterday saying, uh, um, DMing me and saying, damn it, I'm going to have to get back into Planet Zoo now. I just saw your, I just saw your screenshots on, um, Lost Creek. Hey, I'm, I'm victim to it too. Or you seen how long I was out of it. But, uh, Jonas's little build brought me back. We're back with a new zoo. It just feels good to kind of be inspired again. Um, and to just trying to flesh out ideas again. And I don't know, it's just cool. I was absolutely out of... Um, just any type of Planet Zoo inspiration. And it just feels cool to kind of jump back in now. Oh, no problem, Silver Fox. I'll, I'll keep an eye on this lot, as Harry would say. Go ahead and run and go grab your stuff. We'll be streaming for a little while here. It's it's not quite 2 o'clock where I'm at, so we've got a pretty good bit to, to get done. I th I'd say we're still going to be here for a while. I've been so busy at work and the few hours I've had have been so heavy in Valheim, but it was nice to be back in the zoo this morning for a bit. Yep. I want to build, but my FPS levels are just sheesh. Yeah, sometimes it gets like that. I kind of feel like these guys would have some little lily pads and stuff in their pond. Oh, Leaf come up with it. Did you all see Leaf's uh, koi pond idea about turning the video um, like on its, like flat on the ground? That looked awesome. Speaking of little ponds...
Hey, what's up, Periodic Gamer? This is an implied crane exhibit. Yeah, so this is just like one of them little, you know, just kind of like, like almost like, I hate to say like passerby exhibits, but it's just one of those ones. It's like, um like an ambient type exhibit. You know, it's like maybe a couple, like a pair of cranes are in there. You know, nothing too, nothing too like, you know, necessarily like a big hot ticket item, but that's what I wanted to do with, uh, with Lost Creek is to make sure the little filler exhibits are here. Oh, you know what? If we, if I could find some kind of cool, like, bat video, we could do, like, a nocturnal cave here somewhere. Well, you know, Oliver, somebody, I think, has the, uh, the, um, the cranes that I'm talking about. Maybe, they may have made them out of art shapes. I probably could put a couple of them just sitting in here. <laughs> That would be it would be cool though if we really did have some cranes. Or like some little foxes, you know, just some kind of little some some kind of little you know, little filler guys. Oh, I've got to show you guys. Here in a minute we'll take a field trip and I will show you uh, my, that shark video that downloaded for my aquarium. It finished downloading. Meerkats! Miali has a ton. Put a random turtle in here. <laughs> Probably could do that. Yeah, that gives that kind of pop that needed. I was, I was seeing a little too much rock. That little tree kind of pops that good. There we go. There's us a uh, little implied crane exhibit. We'll get some signage up and stuff too. I call them dead space animals that don't really fit into a section of the zoo. Yes! Has anyone ever tried a cavern exhibit tour like they have at SDC or many other places? I haven't, but that sounds cool. Hey, thanks, Herman. Sats back. Woo, field trip. I'm surprised I finished downloading it all. Yeah, it was like 1.16 gigabytes. So when did we stop watching? Like, when did we turn the live stream off? Were we at like... 700 megabytes, so we would have still had a while to go. <laughs> For which crane species? Um, what did we say this was, guys? Um, this was the the red horned crane. Am I saying that wrong? Red. It's totally just slipped my mind again. Red crowned crane. Gotcha. Jotting that down right now in my little notebook. Red crowned 
crane. <laughs> Red horned crane. <laughs> Red crowned crane. There we go. Yes, this is the red crowned crane um, implied exhibit. Those red crowned cranes, they look so cool. All right, so let's save this real quick. And let's go back out to the main menu. Let's go back into the aquarium real quick. I want to show, we'll go back to this in just a sec. I just want to show you guys the, uh, the shark video that I downloaded like back in 2017. And um, this video is, it just, it, it, it just ends up looking, it just really, really cool. Okay, let me, yeah, 1.16 gigabytes that was. Okay, so which one did we pick last time? We did the... Was it the 16? 16 screen lit? Oh yeah, because remember our we our rock work. We gotta we gotta redo our rock work. Okay, so let's get that right there a second. Let's go in here. Redo this rock work. One momento. Whoops. Oh, and there's a couple little weeds sticking out here. Little golden rods. I love those golden rods. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Typically, I have to split it up. But Oh, hold on a minute. You know what we have to do, Cybers? I've got to convert it real quick. <laughs> Luckily that part doesn't take long. Okay, and convert to web M. Oh great. It won't it won't convert up it won't convert past a gigabyte. I'll tell you what, let me I'll get a couple seconds of it here. The good thing is at least we have it downloaded now. We got the hard part out of the way. I'll do like a let's do like a a minute long loop of this, I guess. That would probably a minute's long enough to probably not notice the the same little fishies over and over, isn't it? Okay, we'll do duration. Let's just do... Okay, we'll do a minute and six seconds. That's a pretty good loop. And I can do it longer, like when we really go to make this official, you know? But just to show you guys, this'll... Oh, Seth, I just go to a... Uh... I just go to um, Cloud Convert and just, you know, if, if you just Google MP4 to WebM, um, it, it, you'll see it kind of near the top. It just, uh, now obviously we found out um, <laughs> it can't be over a gigabyte. So I've condensed this down to like a minute, six seconds. Now let's try to convert it. 
Convert. Oh yeah, this is a little quicker. <laughs> yeah, cloud convert is what I'm using. Hold on, we're almost done here, about 60%. If I ever go to do an actual aquarium one day, this is going to come in really handy. <laughs> All right. Download complete. It's processing. See, this is like I had solely come in here just to try to make a little uh, aquarium. A fake one. It's so hard to get it like to get it bright. <laughs> Alright, as a matter of fact why that's processing which that part may take a minute. Let's save this. We'll go back and do a little building while that's... It says processing time 10 to 12 minutes. So let's hop back over to Lost Creek while that's going. What's up, Lion Rider? Yeah, that, um, the, the foliage, that part was from like eight or nine months ago when I was just trying to fake a, uh, fake an aquarium. So all of that stuff, like all that stuff you saw back there, not really going to be needed anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's just like Periodic Gamer just said all of that work. And now that, that one billboard is going to negate all of that. <laughs> Look, Lion Rider, we've did a red crowned crane uh, implied exhibit. And then over here, we've got like a little picture spot where it looks like the the rhino is like busted through the wall with all the rubble laying here. Oh, let me go see uh, Jonas. Ah, there we go. Yes, very nice. Hold on, Jonas has just sent me their red crowned crane um, sign. Let me save that. Okay. I wonder which one this would look best on. You know, I could probably just do this. Maybe even just do this for like the little TV. This song reminds me of uh, City Skylines for some reason. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. Red crowned crane. What is that? Grus Japonesis? Japonensis. Very cool. Very, very cool.
Look at this line rider. Jonas made me like a little custom Lost Creek ticket sign. Did you all know Drew uses WASD to move around in Planet Zoo like a psychopath? Like, do you all do that? Like, right now, all of this you see me doing right here, all of this movement is uh, it was with the mouse. Like, none of this is keyboard at all. Drew completely uses WASD. I'm like, Drew, you're a psycho. What are you doing? Like, no, I just hold the right mouse button down. Like, right now... Like this, my finger is on the right mouse button. And when I want to spin, I'm holding the middle mouse button. Like all of this is the mouse. No. I do not use WASD at all. And that's what I'm that's what's killing me with um that is what's killing me with Prehistoric Kingdom. I'm having to use WASD right now because the edge scrolling and the it's just, it's, it's, it's not set up like, um, like Zoo is right now. Um, so it's, it's just like Prehistoric Kingdom's a little weird to me. <laughs> Savannah is also a psycho. <laughs> no, I like my hand never, the only keys my hand touches is the Z, X, and Shift. Uh... There is no WASD. That's just, I don't even know how you guys have played this game that long with having to do that. Maybe that's why when I hear you all um, streaming, I hear so much keyboard clicking. Because you guys are like, oh my God. Like, how do you all even do that? Like, that is just, that is just creepy and awkward and like cumbersome. Ah. <laughs> you don't play with a controller? <laughs> All right, moving out this way, you know what we need that we do not have? It probably would even be a lot closer to the entrance than this. We don't have any restrooms, guys. We need a set of restrooms probably right across here behind the cranes. So let's get us some restrooms themed. I'll keep an eye on the shark conversion as well. It's still... Still trying to go. Thrustmaster flight stick? <laughs> eh, peeing is for losers. That's weird. Path question. Insert path question. Why though? <laughs> I personally love the Wiimote. <laughs> No, Leaf. No.
Whoops. What are you guys getting into the rest of the day? Just hanging out? Got to get some videos up. I have about five days lined up right now. <laughs> well, I got my video out this morning. Matter of fact, the the intro episode of this. Did I tell you guys they wouldn't let me share it on Reddit? <laughs> Bastards. Yes. Like, I didn't know how many of you guys felt that way, too. I just thought, like, you guys were going to be like, dude, chill. Like, what's wrong? But all of you guys are like, yeah, man. Bunch of assholes. We know exactly what you're talking about. much gauge my rages by if Drew says to rage or not. It's like, I'll ask Drew, I'll be like, Drew, can I go in on this? Because this is, you know, this is some bullshit. And if Drew says, nah, man, just you're, you're looking at this wrong. That's, that's, that's not what they meant. Or, the, you know, just chill out. Then I'm usually like, okay. Maybe so. I'll chill. But when Drew's like, no, nah, man, forget that shit. You need to say something. I'm like, I'm on it, daddy. Don't hold me back. So Drew is usually my gauge on, like, the severity of a situation. Like, if it warrants an S-Dan, like, cussing, or if it's cool. This time it wasn't cool. Every once in a while, I'll override him, and he'll he'll message and be like, "Damn it, S. Dan, you shouldn't have done that." 
And then I'll be like, I know, I'm sorry, damn it. Couldn't help it. I wish there was a way to put the UI along the side of the screen instead of the bottom. That would be cool. Kind of have it flushed up there. Oh, let me show you all this that we got from Haribo. Masterful. Look, stacked river rock. Absolutely masterful. I love it. Doesn't it just have an awesome look? We need like a funny, too, I don't have like a funny zoo, um, uh, wash your hands sign. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, the custom wall and custom... Floor textures, that can definitely be a thing now. Easier than before. The toilets in a creek would probably smell. Hey everybody, Beyond Seth TV here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to 
Lost Creek. <laughs> uh oh, Savannah, hold on. I got you on the wash your hands. Let's see what Savannah's coming up with here. Savannah is going to send us some kind of wash your hands screen. The relief station? Could be. <laughs> could be, could be. You know what would be kind of cool out here, though? It'd be kind of cool to have one of the, like, the, the larger dead trees. Hold on. And have a sign hanging off of it, too. Because, you know, the first thing people usually do when they get, you know, to a, a zoo or a theme park, they're usually like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Where's the bathroom's at? Hold on, let me go to the bathroom real quick. You know, one thing I noticed um, a couple nights ago, I still have Lion Rider's um, Eagle mod downloaded because I was looking at the statues and my little uh, panda, look, it's still, a, it's still an eagle. There we go. Okay, hold on. Oh, yes, that'd be perfect. Oh, I kind of like the I kind of like the bottom one better. Yes, that's perfect, Savannah. Hold on. I'm going to Yeah. I like both of those. I like the bottom one better though. I just like the colors. Hold on. Have to have Jonas uh, get us some kind of like, be cool if I could have some kind of like hanging restroom sign. Maybe I could just use the in game. Don't we have in game hanging ones? Then I'll theme this one up just like we did the the other one. You know what? Savannah's may I wonder if well let's just try. That'll work good. I just I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to make it a little darker. Okay, let me make this just a touch darker. Okay.
Avoid touching your face. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. Very cool. I mean, you probably could flip it, um, but that one works too. I see what you're saying. Like if it was up and down, like straight up and down. Yeah. Please wash your hands, folks. You just gotta remember, like, as far as the billboards go, like with your TVs, if you're not intending it to be a TV, look, so you can you can clean it up pretty nice. Like if you don't want that like TV glow or you know. Yeah. There we go. I thought I had some little Man, I might be thinking a planet coaster. Thought I had some kind of little hanging sign, but I think I might be thinking of the Western pack in coaster. Drew said that the Bro Nation was absolutely bringing the heat yesterday with uh, with planet coaster. He's like, dude, I, I, like, I am like two seconds away from starting a theme park. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Domez. Wash your everything, you nasty folks. <laughs> True story. Appreciate the dono, buddy. We will wash. Yeah, let's get some claps in the chat for Mr. Domez making sure that we are staying hygienic. <laughs> We appreciate that, buddy. Let's see if I can kind of hide this up in this branch, maybe a little. Kind of looks funky zoo-ish, zoo doesn't it? That's what I said on your stream yesterday, Drew. You're like, oh man, that's just a little too big. And I'm like, just scale it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. So if like there's some like frustrated dad or something out here like, ah, we're not signing up for no adventure club. Where's the bathroom? I gotta pee. There, there get out of the way. Stay here. <laughs> Dads don't even hardly ever want to be there. It's like you like walking through Animal Kingdom and like there's something you like you hear that you just hear like a dad they're asking like what's going on with the tree and the dad's like or, you know it's like it's like not even nothing to dads they're playing a movie on the tree let's get out of here I'm hungry my feet hurt Yeah, I'm not signing you up for no adventure club. How much it cost? Oh, come on, Dad. It's only a one-time fee of $59. 50 I'll one-time fee leave you here for $59. You stay here with the animals. For $59, I better be able to take a giraffe home. Get your ass over here. We ain't signing up for no adventure club. <laughs> oh, sideways version? Okay, hold on. Savannah Banana. Ah, there we go. Okay, what's your hand? Flyer 2. Okay. I think you're right. I think it will look a little better, kind of. Looks a little more, it'll look a little more posterish. Yes, much better. Much, much better. Doesn't that look more like poster, posterish, zoo-like, kind of up and down like that? <laughs> Where's the nearest bench? Dad, we just pulled into the parking lot. Oh, you want to get smart, huh? I'll turn this car home. I'll turn this car around right now. I don't even want to be here. <laughs> Why am I coming up with all these sayings? Do I have like undiagnosed dad issues? <laughs> Damn it, dad. Is that going to mess with some of your all's OCD? Is that a little crooked? People are going to ask you all what you did today. Watch S. Dan build a bathroom for like an hour. And he was really mad about Reddit. <laughs> and his dad.
<laughs> As dad wolf. <laughs> I made a whole taper exhibit while S Dan built a restroom. Ooh, I'm gonna do a taper exhibit in Lost Creek too. I love those little guys. Anything weird sticking out anywhere? I don't think so. Still ended up being a pretty cool bathroom. Oh, hold on, guys. It, it finished converting our fish tank. Uh, we'll do like Drew said. Don't hold hands. Rub elbows. And we're going to save this and take us a quick little field trip back to the aquarium. And don't ask me to buy nothing. We can eat when we get home. Damn it. <laughs> Field trip. All right, Cybers, if you're still here, this is for real this time. We're about to see what this looks like. Okay. Web M file. I think this may work. Let's get in here and try it. Whoops. For real this time? No joking? No joking. There we go. See with the with the right theming and the right rock work, this one will be pretty cool. Some some sharks even go by here soon. Isn't that a cool one? There's a big ray. There goes, what is that, a bull shark? Kind of looks like a, kind of look like a bull shark. Maybe it was just like a black tip reef shark. So yeah, I think this one, I think this one can work pretty cool for your, like, you know, trying to get a good, um, like aquarium style going. And the actual video, it's like, tw it's like 20 minutes long. So there's a, you know, you would never notice the looping. Oh, you're right, Mandy. Let's see what this looks like in the daytime. Still pretty cool. I like it. Leaf, uh, 
Leaf has got some cool ones too. I really like some of the ones um, Leaf has found. So pretty cool. So this is what I've been trying to show you, Cybers, for like four days. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> This could be good for like Drew's like Stingray Bay or something. Or like if Drew did like a some kind of Stingray Aquarium. Hey, what's up, Becca? We gotta go show Becca the uh Um Gotta go show Becca Lost Creek. You know, we need to do an, uh, a, uh, <laughs> an extra save of Lost Creek. What if I would have just saved that aquarium over Lost Creek? <laughs> Look, Becca, this is what we've been doing. We've got some little signage up now. Help us stay in great shape. Do not feed the animals. We've got a little rhino that looks like he's blasted out of the wall. Take a picture in front of him. Uh, we got a bathroom set up. We've got a uh, kind of like an implied red crowned crane exhibit. Got the Lost Creek Zoo sign with the guest services. And this is kind of like our main little, our main little entrance area. With our tickets. All right, Cybers, we'll see you. Then of course we've got our giant anteaters. They were the first they were the first little creatures in the zoo. This is going to be Giant River Otter Lagoon. So yeah, we're just kind of just kind of taking our time, kind of rolling along here. You know, I feel I need another set of planters right there. Cuz like I said, if we're if we're going the Mike Sheets route, that's a little too much sun. Anybody know what's what's going on with Mike right now is he crazy with springtime type work i have not heard it seems like i've not heard from mike in like five months Yeah, graphic design isn't really my thing necessarily either. So luckily I've got some I've got some buddies that that are like that's their thing. <laughs> Thankfully.
I've been in him just released an episode of Tamachati. But other than that, haven't seen him much. Oh, was he on that episode? I haven't got to see that yet. Was did was did he actually come on and talk? Eben. Iben. I Ben. <laughs> Dahlia, Iben, Dahlia. <laughs> I've got to find a tree in here that kind of suits me. And doesn't cover up the restroom sign. What's up, Azriel? Evening from England. I'm glad you could stop by and catch this. Normally it's too late for you guys. But Saturday, Saturdays give us a little leadway sometimes, doesn't it? Because I'm not at work. None of these trees are are tickling my fancy. Yeah, Mandy, that's, um, that is in your wall decoration tab. I love that piece. I wish we had more pieces like that. Oh, so Mike was on the recent episode. Ah, I'm making a sun bear tapir habitat. I need to add some detailing before I upload it, but I'm excited. The sun bears are so cool. I know. Drew made a cool little, um, sun bear uh, exhibit yesterday. <laughs> Drew told me on, uh, he was telling me and, um, Savannah, he's like, everybody's making like these, like ultimate, like luxurious, uh, sun bear habitats. And here, <laughs> Drew's like, here's mine. Looks like it's like, you know, behind a landfill. <laughs> You know, what if I do that, but just bring the tree forward? Whoops. What do you guys think? Did it look better down there on the far end of the building or kind of like right here at the plaza? I mean, it works right here because you got to figure a lot of people would congregate in this big area and, you know, probably be looking around for restrooms. I'm in the progress of making my zoo called Azure Hills Zoo and I'm making a southern cassowary habitat. That's cool. Armada, it's around a quarter to eight. Yeah, so I'm catching you guys at a good time. Yeah, because you got to figure like, you know, and people, okay, you know, like when they're coming this way, 
like right when they get to this opening and they're looking like their eyes are like looking for restroom signage with the tree right here it catches them like see with it with it down there they'd almost have to round the corner kind of aggravating like and look for it down there but here at the plaza it's kind of just right there as they as they enter this this area yeah there we go because I, I really like this tree but that tree would be blocking it back there like isn't that a good like planter shade type tree looks pretty cool and still not blocking you know not blocking the rhino very bad Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. You know, the only thing that's kind of going to suck for you guys as far as if you like watching videos, um, you know, what we're essentially, what we've done here is going to be episode two of Lost Creek. But to the, you know, you all have already seen all this to the, you know, if you, if you watch this back, it's none of this is going to be new to you, like for the people that aren't here that are going to watch it. So, I guess it's I guess it's a trade-off like at least you got to see it happen in real time. Um but yeah, the people that are people that are going to watch this back on on actual video don't necessarily get all the the jabber and the the thoughts behind a lot of it, you know, cuz when you're doing like a voiceover for videos, you know, you don't typically you're, it's typically you're rushed almost, especially if you're like trying to talk over like a, you know, get it in in a 12 minute little session and then leave time for an actual fly around section. Hey, what's up, Preston? Yeah, this whole little front area, this is this has come out pretty cool, hasn't it? To be honest, I love watching lives when people are building. I love hearing the process. Yep. Oh no, one of my anteaters is about to die of old age. Oh no. That was the mom. No. Not fun. She almost lived to be 20. Well, that sucks. I need to turn the animal death off. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that feeling. See you, Becca. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. What's up, Seco? Okay, I don't think we would need to do... I don't want to do another implied exhibit this close to one. I kind of want those to be spread out. 
So maybe we can... I really want to try my Zoo Knoxville, like, um, bear exhibit again, but just do it better. Oh, you know what I can do, though, with that? We need, I need to try to take Bold's waterfall. Hold on. We're going to have to take a field trip to Suyana is the only problem. Okay, let me save Lost Creek. Oh, head cap lock on. Oh well. We're gonna take a trip to Suyana real quick. Suyana. Aardvarks or pangolins? Honestly, I have no idea how long this is gonna take to load, but we got to try to go get that uh we got to try to go get that waterfall. She just did such a freaking awesome job on that. And I think we can use it for outside of the bear habitat. <laughs> Caps lock makes it extra secure. Let me, well, you know, while we're waiting on that, though, let me look for some more, like, zoo signage. Drew found some hilarious ones yesterday for his uh, sun bear exhibit. <laughs> About, like, don't set on the fence. Hmm. <laughs> That's always a fun one. Please be safe. Do not stand, sit, climb, or lean on zoo fences. If you fall, animals could eat you, and that might make them sick. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, Primal, you may get to go. That's cool. Ah, no problem, Seko. That's what we're here for. Wrong, guys, if you just popped in, we're trying to load up Suyana so I can go steal, try to steal, uh, a waterfall that Bold made for me in the tiger exhibit. <laughs> Do not make eye contact with the gorilla. Do not, oh, there's a cool one. Do not feed the ducks. Going to the zoo Wednesday. Cool. What's your favorite animal from the Southeast Asia animal pack? Mine's the clouded leopard. Um, I kind of like the, I kind of like the binturong. I think that's my probably favorite from the pack. I'd say the binturong. Hold on, guys. Suyana takes a while to load. <laughs> it's, it's getting up there in peace count. Oh, 
Got some dangerous animal signs. That's kind of cool. That's a cool one. Think before you poke. Nope. Touching the animals can hurt or scar them. Yeah, it's like, you know, I don't want to be like overly aggressive with my signage, but... You know, I, I like like the one, help us stay in great shape, do not feed the animals. I like a little more lighthearted signage. Like, you know, I don't want to be like, like a dick as far as the signage goes. S Man of Steel. Clotted Leopard. Mine's the Benterong. Least favorite is the Dole. The Bears for me, they're just so goofy. Probably Bears are a close second for me. I've had a soft spot for the Sun Bears for years. Follow the rules or get out. To be fair, zoos have signs everywhere. Oh, Oliver, I'm just Googling. I'm just like Googling zoo signs. Oh man, I wish we had alligators. We've got Nick Nick did a cool alligator mod. Only thing about it is you have to like every 90 days you have to worry about it all breaking. Welcome to my zoo. Feed goats here only. <laughs> Probably some of my favorite signs though are like the the custom ones that Jonas has done for me. Oh, okay, we're here. Field trip to Siana. See, I don't even need all three sections. I just even, like one of these would be okay for me. Like I just, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do like, you know, um, waterfall overboard. Even though I should, I kind of want the waterfalls to just be a little crap. Oh, the leaf insect, that is cool too. Very good point. Very good. Hmm. See, she's taking like the jets. Maybe I can just do that over there. She's taking the jets and shoots them up, but obviously they look like they're kind of coming out of these cracks. Which I could do, like maybe a two-sider right here. So that's kind of what I needed to see. So she definitely used the jets. That's awesome. I think we can work with that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
I wondered when we'd see waterfalls in this stream. <laughs> God, it took it took me like 30 minutes the other night to find the two leaf insects. That took forever. Okay, do I want like a little, <clears throat> maybe like a little splashdown area right here? You know what I need to do? I need to actually get the, the bear habitat up and then I can kind of build around it. I can kind of maybe tailor the waterfall to this. All my waterfall concepts. Where is that little guy? Is this it? Yeah. Still kind of larger, though, than what I'm going for with this. See, I like the fallen log idea where you come out and this is kind of capped off with glass. Hmm. Remember, we're not wanting this to be too, too hyper fantasy. But we can still make some room for a waterfall somewhere. Come on. With it, this wouldn't even be an s Dan build if there wasn't some kind of waterfall. You know that the person modeling the leaf insect, that was probably their favorite bug or something, <laughs> if for real. Okay. So let me, let me try this. How's that for a little, little smaller, like subdued set of waterfalls for the bears? Maybe we'll do the sun bears over here.
<laughs> I like bold style the way she the way she does this. But it's tough. It's it's kind of tough to emulate. Can be a little tough. And see, the bears are gonna like kind of they're, they'll be able to come down and kind of access this little pool right here. <laughs> vibing there we go so see that waterfall is a kind of more believable than what I would normally like you know <laughs> like have this giant set of waterfalls And of course, we're going to add more effects and stuff here in a minute. I'm just trying to get a feel for this, see if I like it. Uh oh, Nicholas Lion Rider just went into Planet Zoo. I wonder what he's up to. And this is kind of going to be the little bear's entrance way over here.
There we go. That looks a little better than kind of the fake way I was going to I was going to do it. Cuz you still want to keep people from not falling into the not falling into the bear lagoon here. I mean, at least I would hope you would. Yeah, he just took out that insurance policy and then his wife Karen fell into the bear lagoon at the Lost Creek Zoo. Hopefully the bears will come over here and use this a little bit. get some of this waterfall and then the to, to kind of I love adding the mist the mist really helps with your waterfall effects if I uh, if I could get you guys to use those from now on please Or you do it how you want to do it. swim with some sun bears no poke the bears yeah leaf this is this is subdued if you guys haven't been here before this is subdued s dan isn't it you could agree with that thing is I'm just hoping I'm thinking they have enough room but this game's kind of weird I don't know if they can I don't know if they will can make it through here or come off that edge into the water I know it doesn't look that steep but that's pretty pretty steep for a lot of times what they're able to do I'm hoping that's you know. I'm hoping that's enough. Okay. 
Yeah, hopefully they can. Hopefully, hopefully. Probably get some pictures of, of what we've done this evening to guys on um, Instagram and Twitter. So if you guys have those, uh, be sure to follow me on there. It's just at SDanWolf. And uh, you'll kind of get to see some of the some of the shots and stuff I'm able to put together after this. Over there on the Instagrams and the and the Twitters. Quit tweet watching. I like how the, the light, like the time of day that I typically play, the light is shining really good on the waterfall. That's cool. I like it. Drew is probably going to berate me when he sees that this there's a waterfall in this. Wouldn't be nothing new. He always talks down to me. <laughs> Damn it, Primal! I'm the mod here. I'll self-promote. There we go. Came out pretty cool. Kind of kind of what I was envisioning. My favorite nature piece? Right now, probably these guys, the, uh, the ponytail palm. I just love that plant. That was just so well done. Loving, loving the ponytail palm. You know, it'd be cool to kind of have this big guy right here kind of split the path again. Like, you know, it was so big right there. They kind of, they left it and just built the path around it. And it's kind of like the, could be like the mock entrance way of the bear exhibit. Hmm. 
Only thing is, though, it is so large, it kind of takes away from the, like, the moment that the waterfall is having. Like, that, this waterfall is like the, the, the focal point of this whole area. And if I were to add that big giant tree there like that, it kind of, that's kind of almost gives your, it's too much. It's giving your eye too much to look at. Yeah, might, we'll save it. Keep that idea in our back pocket. I don't know, Banny. Maybe just try something flat. Maybe don't try to beat yourself up too much over, like, your roof pieces. Try to maybe do something like this. Just keep it really flat. And make a, like, try to make yourself, like, a good funneling point where you envision the guests coming through instead of leaving it like wide open where they could come through in like a bunch of different places. Just try to, you try to design and dictate where you want the, the crowd flow to go. That's what I try to do. Make it to where everybody, you know, you, if you're coming in, you have to come in right here. No, I think a bear, I think bears, just I guess we have to decide on what type could do the sun bears. This would be a, this is like a good spot for them. Kind of near the entrance, you know. I think this is coming out pretty stinking sweet. Hey, what's up, Daniel? Grizzly, that would be cool. Get the grizzly, get a good shot of the grizzly bear up nice and close here. You know what I think we could do to fancy that up a little bit? Take this and go across that top little wire. Hey, what's up, Jake? All right, see ya, Azriel. <laughs> this is the safest zoo in the world. Safety isn't necessarily our forte, is it? So don't you hear don't you hate like when these companies and stuff say like it doesn't matter what type of company it is a drug company a uh, football stadium um, just anything like that hotel companies that it, like it's always the same PR stuff like I mean I know of course you can't expect them to come out and say we don't care about the customer safety but it's always the same like the the utmost important of our entire core of being us is customer safety. The the customer safety is always top priority. And I'm like, no, it's not. Your top priority is making money to stay open. So, I mean, but it's just, you know, just the PR, the, the, cus the, the customer safety is our number one priority. I'm like that. You probably watched a 20 minute video when you first got hired about safety and have literally never thought about it again unless like something bad happened, like a fire alarm went off or somebody got hurt. 
That is absolutely not your all's number one priority. Safety. It's money. As our little esteemed English fellow Jonty would say, it's money. I mean, tell us safety's a part of it, sure. But is it your top priority? Nah. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Bluefin? Bluefin is another nerd that pretty much made this zoo happen. Um, when Bluefin's like, when Bluefin, we were talking about um, Remnant and everybody having, like having a go at Suyana right now. Uh, Bluefin's like, why don't you just start a new little zoo and let them work on Suyana. And I was kind of like, I don't really want to get into that right now. A new zoo is a lot of work. But here we are, Bluefin. <laughs> we started a new zoo. What are we, 8 bitten it here? Hey, thanks, Banny. Uh-oh, Primal, your zoo trip may be canceled. I mean, customer safety is quite important for making money <laughs> with all the suing and lawsuits if you don't prior priority safety, prioritize safety. Nah. All right, Primal wants to see what this looks like with, an act with the actual zoo. Part. Yeah, see how I was telling I was telling you all in the video it's it's okayish, but it almost it's like almost it's almost too much up here, you know. Thanks, Planet Pip Plip Cam. It's not bad with Zoo, but just Lost Creek does look good. I don't know. Let's leave it up there a little bit and maybe see if it see if it grows on me. Lost Creek Zoo. does kind of help with our OCD a little bit, kind of this being a little, does kind of fill it in a little bit better now though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it could stay, it'll stay for now, till it aggravates me. Sure. Shifting it over a little.
looks pretty cool. <laughs> Backstory, there is no creek because they lost it. That's what Drew was saying. He's like, I hope they find the creek soon. Dude, this is coming along pretty stinking cool, isn't it? Got lost in the restroom. It's just in the lost and found. I'm liking this because we're like taking our time and not trying to rush this. You know? That's a pretty cool place for a statue, isn't it? It had to take a leak. I've got my little bronze otter statues right here on the edge of their exhibit too. But um, anyways, guys, I think that is uh, that is where I'm going to end it. I have got to get ready. I've got to go. We're supposed to go have dinner with my in-laws um, for Easter tonight instead of tomorrow because they have to work. So I'm going over there in a little bit, but I got to hop off here and go take a shower and kind of get ready. But um, yeah, I uh, I am feeling this. I think we will continue this if you guys feel up to it. <laughs> That's just cool. So yeah, no, nah, Ben, he probably won't be streaming again. Um, if I do stream, it'll be tomorrow. Um, but hopefully we'll get a video out and um, you guys can catch up on episode two. We will I have to do some splicing for the times like we stopped and went to the other zoo and stuff. Uh, but we'll get episode two out. Uh, maybe if not tomorrow, probably Monday. Maybe hit up the Monday crowd. So yeah, if you guys don't care, yeah, like Silver Fox said, don't forget to smash the like button for me. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit the notification bell and you can come back and hang out with us. And uh, yeah, we will try to get um, lost again in some Lost Creek. So thank you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!